Hi, I'm Lemmy from Yale Botanica and welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about aloe, all the great uses of aloe, some of the things you can do, how it can help you, and how you can bless your home or your business with it. Remember, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, definitely hit the bell for our notifications, and leave me a comment. Dying to hear about what you guys do with your aloe. So let's get started. So some of the ways that um, aloe can be used, oh my goodness, it could be used for thousands of purposes. Aloe has been around, I don't know, maybe as long as there's been vegetation around on earth, but definitely in the last 2000 years, uh, there's lots of documentation of how aloe is used for homeopathic um, methods. It's good. First, I want to tell you a little bit about some of the uh, medicinal or holistic purposes that you can use aloe for. Then we're going to talk about some of the spiritual stuff, and then I'm going to show you a really quick work to do with it. So people can use aloe for digestive issues, kind of getting the colon and the bowels really moving. It's really great for skin, um, skin masks or skin acne, things like that. Wonderful for hair. Uh, we hear about aloe vera gel where people make he different kinds of hair oils and hair tonics. Really, really good also to, um, to get bacteria off of the scalp. Very good also for making different kinds of medicinal things like syrups for coughs or for colds, things like that. So, and wonderful to use to just eat a piece of the inside, the gel inside. Um, you can eat maybe a tablespoon a day. Um, I like to personally wash it off a little bit and get the slime off, but you can definitely have about a teaspoon or tablespoon a day for, to, to aid with weight loss. So we all like that. Uh, for spiritual purposes though, aloe is oftentimes used for spiritual baths. If there's an attachment there or a spirit that is not yours, you feel like there's something there, or something kind of bothering you, keeping you up or having an attachment in some way, it's really good for a very strong spiritual bath to add the flesh of the aloe um, with the slime to a spiritual bath. It's uh, also really good to protect your home. Great for success and luck drawing. Excellent, excellent for success and luck, uh, luck drawing. But also it's really, really good to absorb uh, vibrations that you don't necessarily want in your space. So it, it kind of cleans your space just by being there. And so sometimes people say, oh, my aloe died. Oh my gosh. Well, it usually what they call is picked up. It picked up something or, or got affected by some vibration that may have been negative or dark. So, you know, the way that an aloe grows also in a space really tells you a lot about how it's doing and what the vibration is. Uh, one of the things that uh, you guys continuously ask about when you come into the store, especially for the full moons, all my full moon magic people, Aloe is excellent to use um, in full moon rituals. And it's also good for water magic, different kinds of water works, as I told you before, baths and so on. So now that we know a little bit about aloe, here's a quick work that you can do. Um, this is mine personally. Um, this is easily almost a year old and it's starting to look like that but I fixed it and I put a red ribbon. So it's normally hung, right? So you can use this type of aloe or any kind of aloe you can use. This one is the one that most people will find in the supermarket. Um, so, you know, you would cut it and take the flesh out of the inside. I'm not gonna cut it for the sake of the video because I wanna show you the other part. So this is really easy to find. It doesn't matter the size. Notice um, this one has prickles and this one, they're very, very fine. But it's still aloe, right? So this is tobacco water. I'm going to put a little bit of tobacco water. Oh, maybe the seal is closed. I'm going to put a little bit of tobacco water. And you can use oils if you want, protection, luck. But I like to use something like this. And like to wipe it down 
you know, because tobacco is great for luck. It's great for money drawing. And so, you know, aloe's good to keep away negativity away from your luck, away from your situation, right? So I'm just preparing it. And this smell is just fantastic, right? When people come into your space, you want them to feel welcomed, right? You want them to feel really welcomed. So I um, like to add things that are very effective, but also that smell really good. So here, got a little bit of, I'm gonna put a little bit more in my hand. And again, this is optional. There are many people who put this up with no, no cologne, oil, anything. Prayer works fantastic. And the aloe, the fantastic, the thing I love about aloe is it works just by being aloe. Oh my God, isn't that fantastic? So I'm gonna tie this around. You can tie it any way you like. Um, I like to kind of catch in between these little things so it doesn't slide away very easily. And you can be making prayer for protection to your space that um, any, any energies that may come in that uh, the negativity is kept out and that the aloe absorbs and opens the way for the things that you need. Right, I like to do an extra little hook up here so it makes it easy to hang. Make it easy to hang. While again, you would be saying your own prayer about your luck, things that you want, protection. This, this is just so magical and so wonderful. And then that's it. You can hang it like that and or like that. So, you know how I love simple and really effective. So aloe is fantastic for that, for medicinal purposes, for calming an environment, for peace, for protection, for open roads, for money drawing. So again, it's a Lemmy from Yeo Botanica. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe, and Share us and send me your comments. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, definitely like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.